Hey, I'm Chris Kintz. All right, let's take a look at some stuff. So we go to our classic Warrior Horses site that we all have. Uh, and one of the things people may not know about the Warrior Horses is they love formatting, uh, but they also love battle and they love, you know, killing and murder and destruction and all those kinds of things. But that doesn't mean that they don't care. Uh, specifically for the horses among them that are less able, right? So the horses that have either been injured in battle or, you know, have uh, different needs for accessibility and everything else. So they want to make sure to be inclusive in their formatting. Makes sense. So if we go to our classic things list here, all right, we take a look here. We've got kind of a our progress bar here. And this makes sense. And here, of those of us that can see, uh, it's pretty easy to see the uh, percentage of progress and what's going on here. Now, if I enable something called, I'm going to use something called Chromebox, uh, which is a nice little extension up here uh, that turns on the voice recorder or voice or screen reader. Let's turn that on. Okay, make sure we've got that on. One second here. There we go. Can everyone hear that voice? All right. Uh, no voice. No voice, unfortunately. You don't hear the voice? It's, your micro microphone is working way too well. You can't hear the voice? Oh, nope. no. We can't hear the voice. The voice is in <laughs> only in your head. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll just read it back to you. How's that? Well, when I click on this cell on my screen, it'll just tell me cell. So it tells me nothing about it being a progress, uh, the value, or anything along those lines. Right, so I'm gonna go and turn that off then. But you guys should check out Chromevox; it'll help you a lot. But I'll still show you what we're gonna do about this. So if we come in here and we go to column settings, we're gonna format this column. You'll see it's pretty standard here. We're just displaying the length based on the current field's progress. It is a percentage field, right? So it's zero to one value. Now, what we first thing we can do uh, is add something called a role, right? So if we add role here right in our attributes, say progress bar. And then if I were to click that again, um, since you're not hearing the voice, I won't, you would actually hear that now it understands that's a progress bar. And it's going to pass that information on through the screen reader. And that's one step. Uh, but the next step is right to tell what the value is. So we would come in here and we say aria, right? And we'd hit hyphen, and we're going to say value now. And in this case, we're just going to put the current field, right? And the nice thing is it's going to understand that's a percent because we also provide these other values like aria value min. We say that's zero. Then we're going to say our aria value max is going to be one. All right, so we don't need to do like normally when we display these things, we're having to convert this, you know, multiply it times 100 to get that exact percent field and everything else. But because we're providing the minimum value and the maximum value, the screen reader is going to understand what percentage it should say. So now if we were to click on that with the screen reader again now, it would actually tell us, you know, progress bar, you know, 75%, 25%, so whatever the values are here. And so that's fantastic, right? Now, if we wanted to take that a little further, we certainly could, right? Because that's a little bit disconnected. So if we wanted to add something like, say, um, a label, so we could say ARIA label. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> my spelling. <laughs> Look at here. All right, we're going to make this actually a formula, right? So we're going to reference the title field because we know that that's what this progress relates to. And then we're going to say title, and we're going to plus, and we're going to add space, and we're going to say progress for column name, right? And by doing that, now when it reads it, it'll actually say things like higher horse trainers progress 75%, right? Which is really helpful when you're clicking on the things and people are trying to understand what's happening on the page. Um, if we uh, Chris, to go, yeah. Chris, Chris, sorry, sorry, sorry. I know that I'm breaking your flow, and this is oh, extremely fine. well scripted and everything, so it will be <laughs> back to get to the, uh, to the moment. But there's a good coin point from uh, Jim. Uh, uh -huh. Please, can you uh, can you checkbox the system audio uh, when sharing? Um, so there's oh, the option sure. of sharing a system audio, um, uh -huh. and therefore. And then we can hear it. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Let me. Uh, un I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to reshare in a second here. Let's try that. Yep. Yeah. Because Jim, that's a good point from Jim. It would be great, great, great to to. Ah, there it is. Here. Perfect. Awesome. Good. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. So, let's pretend I didn't do this yet. All right, just so we can hear what it sounds like without it. Let's see. Maybe that. Let's turn it on. Use this dialog to format main Wait list here. of folders. Yep. Column awesome. headers. Perfect. List of right. folders. Okay. Cell read only. So. 
if we go back a little bit, right? We click on this. Sell red only. We get sell red only, right? And that's coming from the ARIA labels that are actually being put together by SharePoint on the cell itself, right? But it tells us nothing about sell red only displayed here, what we're trying to communicate. So let's go back in text back area a little bit of what we just did, right? So if I add the role of progress bar, let's copy that from over here. Left brace quote dot comma. I have to watch the return back again. The quote roll quote. Right. Space. I should turn that off between copy. Left brace so, comma. So button. preview that. Preview the column for progress bar. Now we understand it's a progress bar. Progress bar cell read only. Which is great, right? But again, now we got to get that value. Let's turn that off for just a second while we type. Chrome box is now inactive. All right, we'll copy over our values and our value min, the value max that we typed in before. Paste right, and we get rid of our extra comma. And what else did I? Oh, and we add. How did I break the format here? Anyone? Anyone spotting it? It's not liking my. Oh, right here. Nice to have a colon. There we go. We'll preview that. We'll turn this back on. Right, so now if we project progress bar 54% cell read only progress display item form panel Sorry. exited dialog progress bar 75% cell read only so, so we're already making progress now we're actually communicating to the screen reader what we're displaying visually with our column format now if we want to go a little crazy or a little more text area we're going to add the aerial aerial Aria label here. What was that? Left brace quote comma space. That again. Quote Aria label quote comma. <laughs> Let's preview that. Preview. So now preview here. List of full progress bar seventy five percent cell read. Again. Progress bar seven. Progress bar seventy. List of folders. Project kickoff progress. Progress bar fifty four percent cell read only. List of progress bar seventy five percent cell read only. Progress bar 75% shows up again. The Chrome progress bar 54% cell read project <laughs> ki project kickoff yeah. progress. All right, everyone following progress bar 54% cell read list of folders file Chrome box right. is now inactive. So now what if we were doing something? Uh, we're trying to display something a little more obvious about what we want to say here. So for instance, what if in our style we decided that to have this background color. And here we're saying if the current field, you know, is is greater than 50%, you know, keep this kind of themed color we've got. Otherwise, turn it fire brick red. All right, if we take a look at that, now we've got this nice kind of indicator saying like this is not complete enough or whatever it is we're trying to indicate. But when we turn that, you know, screen reader back on. Use this dialog list of folders, progress bar 44% cell read only. We lose that kind of extra contextual information. So one of the things we can do instead of having, you know, giving it the value here, text area, Chrome box is now inactive. We're going to instead replace these, these RE value nows and value mins, and instead we're going to put in value text. This is where you can very specifically control how it describes that value. So in this case, we're using a similar formula, and we're going to say when it's greater than 0.5, we're going to say getting there. And then when it's less than, you know, 50%, we're going to say not even close. And then we're going to say that percentage ourselves right so this gives us even deeper control over some of these things so let's preview that preview the column formatting Lip progress bar getting there 75 percent cell read only list of progress bar not even close 44 percent cell read only chrome box is now inactive so you can see we're already making a huge difference um, in the accessibility of our formats and making sure that our formats are not just wowing people that have the ability to see them, but also are interacting in a way that other people can take real advantage of our values and the kind of, you know, dynamic uh, definition, you know, the visualization ourselves that we're trying to express through this uh, can be translated over there. So we just need to be a little bit careful about using our ARIA labels and so on. This becomes really important in things like uh, if we take a look at the FAQ list we did last week, or we've got some, you know, text on the screen like this, or right, if we did something like, um, let's turn it back on here. Microsoft Office th FAQs. All right. So it's starting to one main things. But if we were to do a, let's see if I can. Heading list. Right. If we start Warrior, headings, F Warrior Horses. 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 Warrior
And please heading one main list like this it becomes press very enter difficult. to accept or escape to cancel down for next and up for previous q can i have a hug no, stop no. Reading. <laughs> hugs are from the devil <laughs> how do horses even perform hugs q chrome box is now inactive we'll turn that off for a second but the idea here is we want to provide that kind of navigation that you know screen readers use so it doesn't just have to read through all of the faqs right if they're trying to be able to navigate by heading now, normally you would do things like that um, by specifying an actual heading element, right? And, and it would automatically pick up on that, like an H1, H2, that kind of thing. But those are not part of the whitelisted elements that are available in list formatting. So this is, again, where we're going to use something like ARIA labels here. So we're going to format this view. And if we just go down uh, to where that title is, right, where we're actually putting, so we've got our queue here, and then we have the title of the question. And instead we add, you know, Scroll back up so we can see that. Our own attributes here. Attributes. We'll have a little curly brace. Go up here. And now we're going to add a couple of things here. So we're going to add role again. And we're, this time we're going to say it's a heading. And then we're going to add one more ARIA label. Right, so we're going to say ARIA level. And in this case, we're going to say it's a heading one. So this allows us to communicate to the screen reader, that although this is just a div or a span in this case, this is, should be considered an H1 element. So if we preview that, make sure we did that, we'll turn this thing back on. Use this dialog to format we'll FAQ's to list of folders, heading list, banner, banner. Where, do, when is it okay to murder a horse? Right. So now heading. we're already starting to communicate. Press enter to accept or escape heading. It allows some other kind of navigation, and we can start marking elements of the page for screen readers to pick up on that information. Okay. All right. So we're going to go through. A lot of our samples are missing the text area right now. Chrome box is now inactive. We've started the process of adding some of these. Um, in fact, you'll find even the out of the box kind of design wizards aren't putting some of these ARIA labels in um, like they should. Uh, but we'll we'll see if we can work on that. But the background of the samples, we'll be going through and adding a lot of these um, elements as well for accessibility. And in fact, that's one area if you're looking to contribute would be very, very helpful to do that. So let's go back. Let's review just real quick. So ARIA stands for Accessible Rich Internet Applications. Uh, there's several guides out there on, you know, what are the different roles that are available? Uh, you know, what are the different ARIA things that are there? Uh, and list formatting supports both the role and ARIA. So and you can put ARIA hyphen anything. So all of those will pass directly through to your element. Uh, so make sure you're taking advantage of that. So over here, here's a really nice guide uh, by the Mozilla organization, right? You can check out this link and they go in depth about why you'd want to do it, what's the best way to do it. Uh, if you want to use the tool I was using, Chromevox is just a Chrome extension, makes it for easy testing. You can always, of course, activate your, uh, your navigator if you're in Windows 10. Uh, but that's very, it controls everything. Um, so Chromevox is nice because again, we can narrow down to just the specific elements we want to test. And then we've got a couple of formats that are already showing what I showed today, the number data bar and the FAQ format that are available in our list formatting repo. So check those out and uh, that's all I got, thanks. Uh, excellent, Chris. Thank you for that one. And uh, that was a funny one. Thank you, Jim, by the way, for sharing how to get the, the system audio to work. Mm -hmm.